Dear students, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine. This is Golam Mustafa, lecturer, Department of Mathematics, Milestone College. Welcome to today's virtual class. Today, I am going to discuss Higher Mathematics Exercise 10.2, which is binomial expansion. Let's start our today's class. Dear students, this is Exercise 10.2 binomial expansion. Now, I am going to solve mathematical problem of this exercise. To solve mathematical problem at first we have to know about binomial theorem. Okay. So, firstly now I am going to discuss about binomial theorem. Okay. So, you see that suppose x plus y to the power n is a binomial and expansion will be x to the power n first term to the power n plus n c 1 into x to the power decreasing of first term exponent n minus 1 into multiplication of second term from binomial okay and then plus third term n c 2 this is coefficient and then again decreasing x to the power n minus 2 and then increase of second variable that means y square and then plus dot 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 ups to second variable to the power n. This is the binomial theorem. So, by using this theorem, now we can easily solve mathematical problem of this exercise. Dear students, now I am going to solve mathematical problem. Here see that question number 8, first question is 2 plus x square whole to the power 5. That means this is a binomial term. So, we have to solve or we have to expand this binomial by using binomial theorem. Okay? Now, follow me. At first, write down here by using binomial theorem because we expand this binomial term by using binomial theorem. So, write down here by using binomial theorem. Okay. We already know the binomial theorem is at first write down again the binomial term 2 plus x square to the power 5. Here see that in this binomial first term 2 and second term is x square. So, we know we follow the binomial theorem. So, first term that means 2 to the power 5 highest power is 5 plus co next term coefficient is 5 c 1 into decreasing of first term exponent. So, first term exponent 2 to the power 5. So, by decreasing 2 to the power 4, we can write 2 to the power 4 into multiplication of from the binomial second term x square x square and then next term the next term coefficient is 5 c 2 and decreasing of 2 to the power 4 that means we can write 2 cube into multiplication of second term from the binomial and x increasing x square ok and then now write next term coefficient is 5 c 3 into decreasing of 2 cube we can write 2 square into increasing of x square whole square that means cube. Okay, then now next term, next term is coefficient is 5 c 4. Okay. So, decreasing 2 to the power 1, we can write x square to the power 4. Now, this is the last term. So, we know the last term is just second variable that means from the binomial second term that means x square and whole to the power 5. This is the last term. Okay. Now, by calculation, we can write 2 to the power 5, that means 32 plus 5c1. We can find the coefficient by using calculator. Okay, here see that 5c1. How to calculate this part? So, at first, write or press key 5 and then shift and then divide. Okay, so 5c and then 1. 5c1 and then equal that means value is 5, 5c1 is 5. 
So write down here 5C15 into 2 to the power 4 that means 16 into x square so write down here x square and then plus 5c2 again by using calculator 5 and then shift and then divide so 5c2 equal 5c2 that means 10 so write down here 10 into 2 cube that means 8 then x square is square so x to the power 4 and then plus 5c3 again 5 shift divide 3 so 5 c 3 is also 10 so write down here 10 2 square that means 4 x square cube that means x to the power 6 and then plus 5 c 4 again 5 shift divide 4 so 5 c 4 is 5 so write down again 5 and then 2 to the power 1 2 and x square to the power 4 that means x to the power 8 and then last term x square to the power 5 that means x to the power 10 ok so by now by simple calculation last term is 32 last line plus 5 into 6 that means 80 x square plus 10 into 8 that means 80 x to the power 4 plus 10 into 4 40 x to the power 6 and then plus 5 into 2 10 x to the power 8 and then last term is x to the power 10 this is our required solution question number 9 determine the first four terms of the expansion the second question question is 4 minus 1 by 2 x to the power 5 that means in this binomial we have to expand this only first four terms okay so by using binomial theorem we can get easily the expansion okay so at first write down the by, by using binomial by using binomial theorem okay so again write the binomial term that means 4 minus 1 by 2x to the power 5 we have to expand this only first four terms so write down we know here in this binomial first term is 4 and second term is minus 1 by 2x so 4 to the power 5 plus next coefficient is 5 c1 into decreasing of 4 to the power 5 we can write as 4 to the power 4 into and in this binomial second term is minus 1 by 2x we have to use including minus sign okay and then next term coefficient is 5 c2 and then decreasing of 4 to the power 4 we can write 4 cube into increasing of 1 by 2x square and then next term that means fourth term so coefficient is 5 c3 into 4 square and then we can write minus 1 by 2x cube here see that first term second term third term fourth term we have to calculate the first four terms okay now calculation calculation part 4 to the power 5 by using calculator 4 to the power 5 that means 1 0 2 4 so write down here 4 to the power 5 that means 1 0 2 4 and then here sign at first calculate the sign minus and plus so minus 5 c 1 that means 5 4 to the power 4 that means 4 to the power 4 is 256 so write down here 256 into 1 by 2 x and then plus 5 c 2 by using calculator and then sign is minus square minus term is square that means minus automatically plus positive so this sign is must be plus so 5c2 5 shift divide 2 that means 5c2 equal to 10 so write down here 10 and then 4 cube that means 81 so write down 4 cube that means 64 sorry 4 cube that means 64 into 1 by 
4 x square and then next term the sign will be minus because minus and power is odd number cube so sign minus minus and plus minus 5 c 3 here 5 shift divide 3 so 5 c 3 value is 10 so write down here 10 4 square that means 16 into 1 by 2 cube that means 8 x cube okay complete okay now by calculation we can write 1024 minus 2 256 256 128 so 128 into 5 we can write 128 into 5 that means 640 divided by x so write down we can write 640 divided by x and then again plus 4 divided by 64 divided by 4 64 divided by 4 16 16 into 10 so 160 160 divided by x square and the next term here see that 8 16 divided by that means 2 10 into 2 20 so 20 divided by x cube this is our required answer now question 10 the question is if e minus half of x whole to the power 6 equal to in right hand side here 3 term r minus 96 x plus s x square okay then determine the value p r and s okay in this question here see that if we left hand side expand by binomial theorem up to three terms then according to question we can say that this expanding three term and in this right hand side three term are equal so by using simple calculation we can find the value p r and s now follow me so at first by using binomial theorem left hand side we have to expand up to three terms so right here by using binomial by using binomial theorem okay so p minus half of x that means you can write x by 2 to the power 6 okay expand this up to 3 terms so p to the power 6 then plus 6 c1 into p to the power 5 decreasing and into second term of binomial minus x by 2 and then plus 6 c2 into p to the power 4 and into minus x by 2 square okay let's see that expand up to three terms okay now by simple calculation we can write p to the power 6 plus and then sign will be minus here see that minus and plus so minus 6 c1 that means 6 into p to the power 5 and then into x by 2 okay and then sign will be minus e square that means plus plus so plus 6 c2 by using calculator we can get 15 and then p to the power 4 and then x square by 4 okay okay now again we can write p to the power 6 minus 6 divided by 2 that means 3 p to the power 5 x and also here see that 15 p to the power 4 15 by 4 so the number will be 15 by 4 p to the power 4 and then x square okay but according to question here see that we can write the value of p minus half of x to the power 6 equal to this right hand side so we can easily write now this three terms equal to these three terms so we can write r minus 96x plus sx square equal to p to the power 6 minus 3 p to the power 5 x plus 15 by 4 p to the power 4 x square okay here see that in this two term both side left hand side and right hand side p to the power 6 and r constant term and coefficient of x is 96 coefficient of x is 3 p to the power 5 and coefficient x square is 15 by 4 p to the power 4 and x square is coefficient s so we can equating
from both side coefficient of x square x and constant okay so write down equating coefficient equating coefficient of x square x and constant and constant so we can write so x is equation uh, uh, coefficient of x square here 15 by 4 p to the power 4 so write down here coefficient of x square is s so s equal 15 by 4 p to the power 4 okay mark this as equation 1 and then also we can write coefficient of x is 96 and coefficient of x is 3 p to the power 5 that means both side minus minus vanished so we can write 3 p to the power 5 equal to 96 mark this as equation 2 okay and then also we can write p to the power 6 equals to r both are constant so we can write p to the power 6 that means r equal to p to the power 6 so r equal p to the power 6 and mark this as equation 3 now by using simple calculation both three equation we can find the value p r and s here see that here at first from equation 2 so from equation 2 from 2 we can write p to the power 5 equal to 96 divided by 3 that means 32 so p to the power 5 equal to 2 to the power 5 exponent are same so we can write p equal to 2 if exponent are same then b is equal to b is equal so p equal to 2 and the putting the value of p in equation 3 so from 3 from 3 you can write r equal p to the power 6 that means 2 to the power 6 so 2 to the power 6 is 64 so value of r equal to 64 now again putting the value of p in equation 1 now again from 1 from 1 so we can write s equal 15 by 4 then p to the power 4 that means 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 4 that means 16 2 to the power 4 is 16 so we can write 15 by 4 into 16 so the answer is 4 the 4 4 into 15 that means 60 so the value of p to r equal to 64 and s equal to 60 so you can write p equal to 2 r equal 64 and s equal 60 okay here see that p to r 64 and s equal to 60 I hope everybody clear. If you face any difficulty in this lecture, you may ask me question anytime. Stay home and stay safe. Allah Hafiz.